Okay, so every now and again you're going to get some clicks, some pops, some distortion, and it all has to do with source audio. And the, the more you know how to fix stuff, the better off it's going to be for you. This is a clip. This is actually a clip about a big giant sculpture, 24 tons and five stories high. And that's my dad. My dad, Bill Burgess Sr., did that sculpture. Can you believe I worked that in? I did. Here is the clip and here is the problems. I can see there's something going on there. Let's listen. Every time I saw it, I've noticed it kind of in a different position. I was like, that's weird. It wasn't like that last time. And then I was standing in front of it and it was moving and lost my equilibrium because I didn't know it moved. Okay, typical. There's a little digital click there. This, to me, this is like a bad video edit. Last time and then and that's relatively common where something will get cut off inside of Final Cut or Avid. The deal is with these things is to get around them as fast as possible. Doesn't matter how. We don't fix stuff, we replace it. It's like being a magician, sleight of hand. Now I've done this a lot and I know that if I cut something on the zero crossing, right like that, right across that horizontal line. Just delete that sucker. Even though there's a hole there, I know that I'm not gonna hear this because I've done it hundreds of times. Here we go, listen carefully. Every time I saw it, I've noticed it kind of in a different once, once more. Every time I saw it, I've no Every time I saw it, I've- There's such a tiny little bump there. If we had time, we could go in and fuss with that or if somebody was paying us by the hour, but they're not. Okay, this one might be That's different. Weird it wasn't. Let's go down to that other little problem. That's weird. It wasn't like that last time. And I'll stand in front. Of you. That's weird. It wasn't like that last time. And I'll stand in. So last time. Now here's what's gonna have to happen. Always in audio, you go searching for another replacement part. There's really no way I can fix that. And one of the reasons I chose this clip is because there is such a thing right here. Every time I saw it, I've... Every time I saw it, I've... Every time I saw it... This is time, the word time. Every time I saw it... Time. Every time I... So I'm just going to get a little bit of this, and I'm going to show you a little trick. And I'm going to zoom out a touch so that we can see both things. There's my newly desired piece and my old problem. The smart tool is what we've been using. I want you to hold the grabber and go to the separation grab and then re-enter the smart tool. Now when I hold my grabber over any section a pair of scissors appears. See this? Scissors. Now I'm going to hold my option key I'm going to pull this, and what I'm doing is I'm copying this, and it's going to heal behind itself. And I'm going to let go. Look at that. Every time I saw it, I noticed it kind of in a different position. I was like, that's weird. It wasn't like that last time. And I'll stay. Zoom up on that bad boy. Last time. And get rid of this. Last time. And Last time, so what I want to do is catch the rise of that waveform, kind of like that. And I want to make sure that I have as much of the old audio as possible. And just out of experience, I'm going to do a couple little crossfades, tiny ones, just like this, smart tool, and just like this, real easy. I was like, that's weird. It wasn't like that last time. And then I'll stand in front of it and it was moving. Right there. So that's how you do it. You fix by replacing. That's it.